Yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Hybrid, and today I am going to give you guys a little bit of a defense tutorial on For Honor. Uh, basically, uh, how I'm going to break this down is I'm going to go through all of the basic defending uh, moves that you can pull off, um, how to defend with different characters, and then after that I'm going to go into how to punish people. Um, now, the punishing people part, you're probably just going to see some gameplay and I'm just going to talk about it, because in order to actually show you guys how to punish, I'd have to show you with every single other character, and that's just a little bit um, too... too too, um, it would take me too long to record all of that basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, so to start off with, uh, the first defense move that we're going to talk about is just the normal block. Now the problem with the normal block is that it does not stop chains um, also, and if you're just normal blocking 9 times out of 10, they're going to probably faint something and then guard break you and you won't be ready for it, in which case you'll get uh, guard broken and then hit with something super heavy. Uh, now normal blocking is just fine um, when they're doing light attacks, uh, but when they're doing heavy attacks, um, you definitely want to try to parry which is the next thing we're going to talk about and the way you parry is you block in the direction that they're attacking and then you use your heavy attack and when you parry somebody uh they get stunned and uh, you can immediately go into a guard break with this and immediately go into a throw into a heavy attack or whatever chain you want to go into um, but i definitely recommend parrying over any other form of blocking uh parrying is probably the best in game right now now the next thing that we're going to talk about is called deflecting now you can only do this with the assassin classes and the way you deflect is you dodge in the direction that they are attacking you. So if they're attacking you from the right, you want to dodge to the right. If they're attacking you from the left, you want to dodge to the left. And if they're attacking you from above, you want to dodge above. If you don't know how to j dodge above, you simply push your joystick forward and press that uh, dodge button. Um, now, with the assassins, they all have combos they can do out of deflex. Um, so unless you plan on doing one of those combos out of the deflex, there really is no reason to do it. Um, but it's there if you need to use it but like i said deflecting is generally just to start off a combo um, now the next thing that we're going to talk about all directional block that you can do with most of the uh, characters or heroes that uh, wield a shield this can be extremely useful um, whenever you are uh, fighting against assassins um, now the issue with this is that it does take up quite a bit of your stamina um, also this is a really handy thing to be able to do also another thing to note about uh, shielded characters most of them if you block a light attack it will throw your opponent um, off sides in which case you can definitely get a guard break right after that um, and the last thing that we are going to talk about is actual uh, guard breaking and how to counter that um, so basically in order to counter guard break um you just want to press square and you want to press it before they actually guard break you so if you notice um as as i'm replaying this clip here you'll see a little uh you'll see a little square break pop up on uh, the enemy character you want to press your square right before that thing disappears basically or not square but you want to press your guard break right before that thing disappears um and that's that's how you counter guard break now this is something that i would tell every single one of you guys to learn and that is because guard breaking in this game it, it has a huge deal and if you can counter guard break 90 percent of the time that's going to uh that's going to completely nullify most of the damage that most people are going to try to do especially at the lower level because at the lower level a lot of people will do one or two things will either throw out a bunch of light attacks or they will try to guard break all the time and so counter guard breaking is really really useful um, and also make sure that you don't get thrown off edges either so if you're having problems with that be sure be sure to uh, learn how to counter guard break all right and now with that said guys we are going to go over how to punish off of people overstepping or uh, how to punish off of these defensive moves now for normal blocking there really isn't a way to punish off of that because you don't get a stun um, with just normal blocking which is why i recommend that you at least try to parry attacks um, now with a parry though the way that you can uh, punish that is once you parry uh, either dash forward or guard break or guard break if they're close enough and then you can definitely get a either a throw into a wall into a heavy or you can just get a heavy off depending on the character you're playing um, so keep in mind guys after you parry be sure to hit that guard break button and you will definitely get some damage off now let's go over how to punish with a deflect now that you guys know how to punish with a parry uh, so punishing with a deflect is basically going to be a combo um, so the second you see that you get the deflect you have to press that second combo button whatever attack it might be I know the Orochi has a heavy and a light I know the peacekeeper has a light I think the berserker has a light I want to say um, but that's how you punish with the deflect like deflects uh, kind of a semi offensive move uh, because if you don't time it right you get punished for it heavily but if you do time it right you get an unblockable off and like I said it's only 
for assassin characters. Um, now, how to punish somebody who does a lot of light attacks and um, and you're playing with a shielded character is just simply to block that light attack without actually doing your um, all directional block and then like I said, they get thrown off balance. You can immediately go into a guard break and go into a light attack. You can do whatever you need to do. And then how to punish a counter guard break. What I really like to do is because especially when people guard break, they tend to be spamming either their light or their heavy attack. So what I like to do after I counter guard break somebody is dodge left or right and then do a light attack. With most, char with most characters, that is going to combo into a uh, into a move. Uh, with my main Kensei, it combos uh, really well, especially with your light attack because it attacks the opposite side that you dodge from. Now with the all directional block there really isn't a way to punish out of that however if you are all directional blocking most characters have some sort of guard break unblockable as you're doing that um, which can be used to get some damage off or to throw your opponent into a wall and get some more damage off however um, now I'm just gonna kind of talk about punishing people and how to really do it properly um, so two things to keep in mind when you're trying to punish somebody for overstepping is uh, the first thing that you want to try is try to make them immobile. So that's either going to be by throwing them into a wall, throwing them into a corner. Um, it's going to be by uh, guard breaking them, things like that. So the first thing that you want to do when you're punishing somebody is try to make them uh, immobile. Make sure that they can't move or they can't block your next attack. And then after that, you want to make sure that you do some of the highest, either the highest damage combo that you know you can get off, or you want to do the highest damage attack that you have. Uh, one of the really popular things that I do with Kensei is I will guard break. Uh, one of the really popular things I do with Kensei to punish somebody is I will guard break, throw them into a wall, and then do my unblockable, or I will guard break hit them with a heavy I will then do my unblockable but I'll faint it and go right into uh, either another side heavy or if I see that they try to parry my unblockable I will go directly into parrying their up heavy because obviously their parry didn't go through and now they're throwing a heavy attack and that immediate allow immediately allows me to get another guard break so like i got like i said guys uh, the first step into punishing people is to make them immobile make sure they either cannot block your next attack or make sure that they are in a um, awkward position such as in a corner or throw them against the wall uh, in which case they'll be a little stunned and you can throw in a heavy attack that's all i really have for you guys today uh tomorrow i should have some highlights with kensei up i am starting to get to a higher level i'm starting to face off against uh, higher level people so i'm really looking forward to posting um some game play with him uh, but other than that uh, for right now guys I don't have anything else for you hope you enjoyed this tutorial hope this will help you out a little bit other than that peace